that much. Okay, so, so sort of future work to sort of define how to combine them and precisely which problems are. That would be that, 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 yes, that would be um, that would be a, a way to go, definitely, yeah. and very interesting okay. way, I think. Um, so uh, uh, let me just talk a little bit about the category recognition uh, application you tried. I know that area uh, better. Um, you uh, argued in the beginning of chapter seven. You said, well. Um, you know, edges are really the right way to recognize object categories um, uh, because shape is the sort of primary way we define categories. Now, I would say, you know, that work, that's true for some categories, but maybe not others. So, you know, a good example would be face, face recognition that most people use uh, hash-based, appearance-based methods for face detection and so on. And there's other objects like vegetation, so you might recognize based on texture and color. So, um, so I think it's a bit strong to say um, shape is the primary thing. What you really want, I think, the field is converging to is to combine many different types of features. Uh, true. And, and you do a little bit of work on, on combination of the thesis, but do you think um, spectral matching is uh, able to, let's say, take all these different feature types and do the appropriate combination, or should there be other methods? Um, so, uh, so there are, I have three answers depending on the level of the difference. So the, your question is basically several questions. So the first question, we used uh, only edges there because we wanted to go to the extreme. So we didn't want to add everything together and not understand what's relevant to what. Because it's easy to do that and at the end we don't really know what matters. So we have noticed that using only very simple features as points with normals, we do a pretty good job. And that was another thing because most people were doing very uh, approaches that were uh, looking at appearance a lot. So we didn't expect that using such simple features we would get good results. Okay, so that is that is why we did that. We do not say that category regression will be solved using uh, points and oriented normals. Definitely not. However, as you saw in my first uh, slide with the drawing, it, it's only it's only a drawing, right? It doesn't have contain any almost any appearance information. You can automatically say what's in that. Now, the second question is spectral matching. How, how that can put together uh, appearance and um, shape. And I think that it can, because the formulation doesn't prevent us from using both appearance and geometry. Also, I think that hypergraph matching with this third order is even more natural. However, I do think that matching and recognition are two different problems. So matching is when you want to find, let's say I have a, a horse and a unicorn. And I definitely can match a lot of things from the horse on the unicorn. They look very similar in shape, right? But there is one element that makes one a horse and one a unicorn. So I think the two problems are different. Uh, and actually, recognition is one that follows after matching. So what I would suggest, I'm thinking, use matching the way it is, maybe spectral matching or whatever, com combining appearance and shape. And then maybe after matching, on top of these pairwise scores, you can add some parameters, like relevance parameters, to the category that you are interested in. So, for example, I could have red horses, uh, green horses, and unicorns. In that case, the shape would work pretty much the same. I would use only shape, and, uh, let's say, only shape for matching. But then at the end, it would be the color to separate the horses, the red horse from the green horse, and it would be the, uh, the, the corn, the, the unicorn, right? They add that unique element that would separate the unicorn from the rest. So after matching, you can decide which one is weighted how. So the two, the two problems, I believe, are, are different, yeah. are, are, are on different levels. And I guess another place where you use appearance is you have this first stage where you select edges that are likely to come from a certain object class. Yes, exactly, yes. And that, so that's really an appearance-based recognition, right? Or at least uh, patch-based or something. Uh, yes, that is actually appearance, and uh, uh, it combines. Yeah. yeah, so in a certain sense, you are combining. Sort of, I mean, that's a fairly traditional texture Based. Yes, and actually that's how we presented in the in the paper. There was a ECCV paper where we I, we combined his um, algorithm for patch based recognition with uh, uh, my contours and the shape matching, and we presented as a way of combining the two, which is very natural because we have we don't have to do anything special. We just use those edges as input to the uh, shape matching, and it's very easy to combine. Uh, 